Hey guys! So, I asked someone to do a more updated what's in my pencil case tour thing. As you can see, I have the same pencil case, but actually quite a bit did change with this, so I'll pull that out. And thanks, Doorbell. That's, that's lovely. That's just what I needed. Uh, anyway, I also uh, carry, tend to carry this around with me as well. It's a, uh, I recently bought a mini set of watercolors and I got some cakes. Ignore the cracking, I tried mixing colors because I hate the tubes I came. All the tiny cakes are the ca are the colors that it came with and these were colors that I wanted to make. So yeah, I made some mixes and I'm trying to, trying to get into watercolor. Um, the brand is... Yeah, it's, it's Academ Academy Watercolor, if you can see it. Or Gumbosh, whatever. They're water, they're two watercolor tubes, because I used to have a set of um, uh, Artist Lock watercolors, and I thought, oh, well, I have a bunch of tubes of that that I never use, but they all dried out. So yeah, I've got this little set. Uh, I'll have, these are the stickers on my, in my Redbubble store. So if you like these stickers, you can check out my Redbubble store, because I made some Legend of Zelda pixel things, but I wanted to test them out. Um, so yeah, I just, this is to practice watercolor, because I want to get into watercolor again. So this is really nice, compact, fits in my purse. And then I, I usually just carry like one of these default brushes, nothing fancy. Again, they're like Artist Loft, I can't... They're just cheap 99 cent brushes. So just in case I want to watercolor my sketchbooks. Um, gee, thanks pencils, they're so lovely. I'll just, you know, I'll just put you there. But pencil case time! So it's the same pencil case as last time, except this time I keep a couple of other things in it. Just oh, quick keep things around. So in here I keep my 0 0.5 and a white jelly roll. I keep uh, here's a little. I bought a fountain pen, but that fountain pen died. But here's refill ink for it. Some refill pen, uh, erasers for my mechanical pencil. Or my mechanical pencil, my mechanical eraser. A pencil extender here. It's funny, I actually don't use that many pencils anymore, so... But I still like to keep it, because it's a very handy tool, so that goes in there. Uh, in my inking pen side... Excuse me, I have the fucking stand. Excuse me. So, I don't keep pencils on the side anymore. Now I keep my brush pens. This is my Pentel pocket brush with uh, Black Star High Carb Indian ink. I have right here. I refilled it myself. <coughs> Fucking allergies. I use my Black Star uh, High Carb India Ink in this one. This is a Kiritake. It's not a number eight. I think it's number five or something. But it's a very nice brush pen. I like it a lot. But it doesn't work well with Copics or any alcohol base. Works great with watercolor, but not many water bases. I like the tube. This is just a friendly reminder, friendly reminder, Cody got me this really nice fucking Legend of Zelda fountain pen for my birthday, and uh, it broke. I don't know why, but every ink I've tried putting in this thing, it doesn't want to write anymore, so. It's a nice pen. Hopefully I can find somewhere, like a professional home to fix it, but yeah, it kind of sucks. So, brush just get out of the way. Now to get into the big stuff. But yeah, I mostly just use the inking here, because I moved to all this crap. Let's just, just get these out, get out of here. I don't use these all the time, but I like having them as a variety. Here's just a pen with a little stylus boopy, so if I like need to, I can use it on my phone. Don't write on your phone, but it has the whole thing, so. I got the, thanks to my buddy Aerofex telling me about them, I got the Pilot uh, mechanical pencils. They're all colored pencils with 0.7 colored uh, lead, so it's very thick. I like these because I like sketching in different colors when I'm not gonna like color anything fancy, so yeah, these are just fun, especially since I have like characters with a fucking rainbow, so I tend to do that. And then I also got a set of Pigma colored brush pens. Uh, I got them for like 50% off uh, at Michael's. So originally, I think these like 20-something, so I got it for like nearly 10 bucks. Um, here is my .3 mechanical pencil. This is really good for, this is what I like using when I do like finished works. So it's very thin lead, so I can draw very lightly and it's easier to erase. 
this is the best inking pen in the fucking world, and it, it gets it, it's better than the fucking Jelly Roll. It's the Uniball Signo UM-153. Uh, Sorry, I had to read that, so I'm sorry. But yeah, this is the best thing ever. It's a lot thicker, a lot brighter. It doesn't clog as much as the damn Jelly Roll. This is just a normal 0.7 pencil. And then my mechanical eraser for when I, like I said, I have a bad wrist, so when I'm lazy, I just, just go over this and it erases it. And then my Copic Multiliner brush pen. I actually stopped using my Copic Multiliners and mostly went to brush pens. Um, because I just, for my sketchbooks, I'm trying to do less finished works and more just ideas and getting things out there because I think that's why a lot of my sketchbooks have failed this year. Um, is I'll start things, try to make it look nice and fancy, and then realize it looks like poop, so, yeah. That's pretty much what I carry with me all the time in my, in my, in my purse, in my bag. If you want, ah, hit the camera. If you want, I can do a what's in my bag, like, tour, because I tend to keep the same stuff in my bag, and I have a giant ass nerd bag, so. If you guys want to see that, let me know, but I hope this little updated 2017 what's in my pencil case, on average, uh, tour was fun. So, as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye!